pleasure to be able to be here with two fantastic entrepreneurial women as your host and then to hear some stories of entrepreneurial women. Uh, we have Adela, who is the owner of Bean yes. Cafe, who is um, hosting us here today. Has created this workspace that is fantastic for anybody who is um, trying to juggle both family and work by creating a, a space where you can bring your kids and do your work. And then, of course, Joyce uh, Brewer, who's going to talk about her book. But it's my pleasure to introduce the owner of Bean Cafe, Adele Yelton. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Well, welcome to everyone. I certainly appreciate you guys coming to visit the space, and we're so happy to host Joyce and her book signing. Um, and also, just to let you know, Joyce did a lot of her writing for the book here at the Bean Space, so we love that you did that, and we want to offer that experience to everyone, a place to connect and be productive. So thank you, Joyce. And thank everyone. Yes. And so, uh, without further ado, to introduce Joyce Brewer, who is the uh, host of Mommy Talk Show, an internet television show. She's an Emmy Award winning journalist. She's got a tremendous background in journalism and communications. And she's taken her experience as a mom business owner and has turned it into a successful business, but also has turned it into a life lesson for other women who are trying to figure out how to take their passion and turn it into a business. <coughs> And so it is, I'm looking so forward to hearing a little bit more about the book, to hearing from some of the women in the book. And so I introduce to you Joyce Brewer. Right, so I should honor my Emmy that is here. Yes. <laughs> uh, my Emmy, the things that I'm proud of are my Emmy, um, my husband, who's here behind the camera, and my son, who is playing here, AJ is playing here at Bean. So thank you so much, Adela, for allowing us to come here, inviting everyone in. And this is my book. Use What You Know, A Business Idea Guide for Moms. And the thing that I'm most proud of is that it's not just about me, it's about wonderful moms who are here today, like Emma, Kyle, Alice, we're waiting on Mary Beth, and um, one mama couldn't be here, Judith Hadara. So I just want to read the introduction to the book. So who is this book for? This ebook is inspired by the moms I've met here in Atlanta who launched incredibly creative businesses using the college degrees and professional experience they already had. In other words, these moms businessized their skills, just like I did when I created my blog and parenting talk show. Now, although their businesses are here in Atlanta, their ideas and suggestions can work for moms anywhere. You probably bought this book because you want to run your business so you can have a flexible work schedule or work from home, set your own salary and determine your own work, or build an empire. What I hope is clear in this book is that there is no need to fall into the trap of going back to school for another degree or going deeper into student loan debt when you already have a skill that you can turn into a business. Very simply, here's how I described this ebook to a friend on Facebook when I was doing the outline. I said, it's going to be designed to help moms like us come up with business ideas using the skills we already have. Instead of going back to school or getting an MBA, we all have talents that we can businessize. Did I just create a word? My goal is for you to learn from and relate to a mom who's featured in this book. Then feel inspired to take the business idea you've been dreaming of or searching for and make it a reality. Even if your educational background or professional experience isn't the same as the mom featured in Use What You Know, A Business Idea Guide for Moms, there's something that they've done or discovered along the way that will ring true and connect with you. The moms featured in this book did not get any additional training, degrees, or certifications to start their business. They simply created a way to package their skills in a way that solves a problem for their clients. Just like them, you already have a professional skill someone will pay you for. I asked them all to complete a survey to reveal answers to the burning questions you probably have about creating, launching, and managing a business. I even share what I've learned as a business owner and a work-at-home mom. 